we can find the average velocity for part A within the first three seconds. Uh, the average velocity would be equal to the x position at three seconds minus the x position at zero seconds. Uh, this would be divided by delta t. And so this would be equal to 50 times 3, 50 being the initial um, velocity plus the acceleration or half of the acceleration times 3 squared minus 0. This would be divided by uh, 3 seconds and this would be equal to 80 meters per second. This would be our answer for part A. Uh, for part B, we know that the instantaneous velocity at time t, v, would be equal to the derivative of the, of the x position uh, with respect to t. So this would be equal to 50 uh, plus 20t. And then v at t equals 3 seconds would be equal to 50 plus 20 times 3. And this would equal 110 meters per second. So we can then say that the instantaneous acceleration uh, at times 3 at t3, we can say dv dt, uh, this would, uh, the derivative of the velocity with respect to time would be equal to the acceleration, that is according to the definition of acceleration, and this would simply be 20 meters per second squared. So this is going to be staying constant throughout the entire time interval. So we can then solve, we can then uh, uh, draw the graph for x versus t and v equals t, the graphs. This would be our answer for part B. This would be our answer for part C. The graphs would look like this. And to find A, the average velocity, we can then take essentially the graph, uh, the slope of the uh, secant line, or essentially the average slope from 0 to 3. So essentially, we're taking the slope of that dashed line here. And then for the answer to the instantaneous velocity at 3, we would be taking the tangent line at uh, t equals 3 and then finding the slope of that. So here, it's a bit hard to see, but that marked dashed line would be the velocity of b, would be the velocity, the instantaneous velocity at t equals 3 seconds, and that's how we would find b. And again, to find A would be the, simply the average slope from 0 to t equals 3 seconds. And then for part uh, uh, C, to find the um, acceleration, we simply take the slope of this line. So the slope of this line, m, would be equal to 20, and the, and the units would be 20 meters per second. This would be equal to the acceleration. So we're simply just trying to find the um, slope of this line, essentially. That is the end of the solution. Thank you for watching.